Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Dad Games Badly. We're back here today with some more NBA 2K21 and our Vancouver Wales Draft of Glory franchise. We're back here on December 4th, 2029, about to start the season. And let's go ahead and get into things. First game up against the Timberwolves. So let's go uh, through as far as we can uh, until it does stop us. We get a big win there over the Timberwolves lose against the Nets. Big win against Chicago and the Mavs. Back-to-back -back wins uh, a couple days off before seeing the Spurs and the Clippers uh, where we lose one, win one. Uh, go see Orlando and Detroit. Another win-loss. Uh, sitting at 5-4 and four after a loss to the Pistons. Two back-to-back -back losses against the Pistons and the Pelicans beat us. Kaka! Uh, <laughs> Kings as well. Uh, Detroit, we're losing a lot more games here. Lakers start picking it up. Uh, and we beat them quite handily. We beat the Timberwolves again, and then we lose to the Heat. 7-8 uh, and eight on this season. The uh, Portland Trailblazers, uh, we beat them, and then we lose to the Lakers. Uh, we beat the Bucks. Can we beat the Spurs in Game 2 of the series? We do not. Up against the Jazz, where we lose that one by 20. OKC here on the 19th. Uh, that is a, well, a solid win. It's not a good win. Uh, we beat the Timberwolves again. That's now 3 and O on the season for us. And then the Spurs beat us 3-0. and We beat OKC again as well. Beat the Heat and the Pacers to bring us to 14-12 and on the season. Uh, beat OKC a second time. Golden State... Uh, beats us by four. Huzzah. Huzzah. Uh, the Nuggets are next. We beat them. We beat the Trailblazers again. We cannot. How about the Celtics? We haven't seen them this season. Uh, and they beat us by 12. So not so great. Uh, now 16 and 16 after a loss to the Grizzlies. Can we beat the Raptors? No, we can't. Uh, Cavaliers, we do beat them, which is great. Uh, 17 and 17, still 500 on the season. We've made it to the playoffs before on that kind of record. Can we beat Boston in game two of the series? We do. Miami's up next. Uh, we beat them, and the Pacers, we lose. Uh, Mavs, let's go. Clippers, let's go. 21 and was that 19 after we lose to the Pelicans. Damn it. These Pelicans, they always get us. Uh, contract de extension deadline. Let's take a look at that here quickly. All right, so just looking here at contract ex extensions, it doesn't look like obviously these three don't matter. All these guys are ineligible. Uh, they just signed deals or are on their con like entry level contract kind of thing. Uh, Anquest, obviously, he's gonna he's gonna want a lot more money. Uh, Keller wants thirty four million. Like I know you're playing big minutes, big boy, but uh, get it together. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our game plan again. Uh, let's just make some changes there. Diener's doing quite well. He's having a good season. Uh, let's just take a quick look here at how we're doing. Uh, per 36, you know, 14 points, 4 resists, 4 rebounds, pretty good. Uh, Enquest is having uh, one of his better seasons in a few seasons, which is good. I like to see that. Um, IWF is having a great season. Look at this. Look at those numbers. More assists this season. Uh, steals are down a bit. Uh, Paven uh, having a down season. Rebounds is solid as usual. Um, you know, it is what it is. I think we moved his position. Uh, is Keller doing well this season or is he just kind of like sucking? Eh, he's not great. Like, I kind of wish Paven would stay there, but Maybe we'll try that next season and try to move some stuff around and we'll bring Paven down a bit, but we'll see. Um, let's just take a quick look here if anybody... Saunders is, you know, kind of back on track to what he was. I'd like to see him a little bit more. Uh, let's go. Lonnie Hudson is down a bit. Uh, Bellamy is up, which is great. Uh, Seth Madison is eh, kind of the same. Uh, Kenny Rice is doing quite well 22 points after the 72 overall yeah so everybody's doing fairly well there so I'm not too upset by that uh, so let's go ahead and continue on all right starting the month of March after the contract extension 
uh, lose to the Rockets there on the Sunday, lose to the Jazz again. Uh, all right, we'll keep losing games. Uh, finally beat uh, or get a win this week and then lose to the Hawks. Can we beat Chicago? Uh, we can, which is great because they have some pretty nice young players as well. Uh, the Lakers are up next. We beat them. I think we might be 1-1 one one or 2-0 and oh on that season. Uh, Rockets we lose to again. We lose to the Nuggets this time around. Uh, we beat the Hornets. We beat the Mavs. Uh, let's go ahead. All-Star Captains. Let's go see if any of our boys made it this year. Let's go do all the teams. And let's take a look. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't see anybody in the West. Luca, Carl Anthony Towns, DeAndre Ayton, and John Morant. Uh, no first timers on Team Luca, on Team James Cameron. First time All Star. He is the captain of the team. Also the director of Avatar, uh, Gary Caldwell is a first-time All-Star, Anthony Edwards is a five-time, Daryl Lambert, Harris Pavin, four-time All-Star, boom, 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 a starter, check that, uh, Lamello is there, Peter Jukic is a first-time All-Star, Garrett Vinson as well, uh, so we've got one guy in there, but that's pretty fantastic for us, all right. All right, can we beat the Grizz? We do not. Can we beat the Nuggets? We do not. Now we're down 2-1 and one in that season. It is a trade deadline. Do we want to make offers? We do not, of course. We beat the Magic. Can we beat the Knicks? We cannot. Shoot. Uh, we beat... Uh, who is that? Phoenix? Goodness. All-Star game looks like the West lost, unfortunately. Uh, lose to the Jazz, and then we have a big long week here in April. We take on the Cavaliers. They are now 29 and 31, and we keep losing games here. Can we beat the Rockets at least once a season? And Golden State, thank you on 420. Uh, lose to the Jazz, lose to the Trailblazers. Can we beat Sacramento? We cannot, but I know we're going to beat the Mavs here because we've been doing it all season. And of course, we shit the bed. Golden State, there's another loss. And the, let me guess. Loss, oh, we beat the Hornets, finally. 32 and 36. Uh, lose to the, Lake, <laughs> the Lakers, the 76ers, in back to back games. Uh, lose to the Clippers here in the middle of May. Coming up, and we're going to try and cross the bridge. And it doesn't happen. Beat the Clippers in the rematch. Lose to the Nuggets. We had one really nice win against the Nuggets, and we just shit the bed against them all season. Beat the Bucks. Beat the Grizz. Can we beat Sacramento here? We cannot. Uh, the Knicks. We're going to pop that ball. Nope. Didn't happen. They hunted the Orca. <laughs> beat the Wizards. Uh, lose to the Trailblazers, and then you've got the Suns up next. Uh, Atlanta's here. That was a terrible season, 36 and 46. I don't think we made the playoffs, everybody. Uh, unfortunately, that sucks. Anthony Edwards, absolute stud. 29 points, 7 re rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal. Huge. Uh, who got passed up? Uh Fletcher was pretty good. Cameron was pretty good. Booker, Porter, Doncic. Uh, let's see. Are we up here? Enquist is up here. Uh, actually had a solid season. Harris Pavin should be pretty close. No? IVF is up here. 20 points a season. Pretty decent. Uh, there's Harris Pavin. Interesting. Not one of Harris Pavin's greatest seasons, so... Uh, not too great about that. Uh, Peter Jukic winning the Rookie of the Year, obviously. Uh, made it on his first ever uh, All-Star this year. Uh, did we have anybody up there in the very little... Diener was up there. Uh, do, 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 do. And yeah, that looks like it there. So Art Porter winning the sixth man there in Atlanta. Onyeka winning a, another Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, Paul Dawkins, Nate Bjorkeren. Uh, he's been winning like back to back to backs. Anthony Edwards, of course. So, taking a look here at all star teams uh, Anthony Edwards, Garrett Vincent, Caldwell, Lambert, and AJ Sessions uh, in the first all star all NBA team. Second all NBA, Harris Pavin made it. Uh, Giannis and injured Lamelo. Uh, James Weissman and James Cameron. A pretty solid second team. Third team, uh, Spurs, uh, Jukic. Pearson, Richie Sharp, and Carl Anthony Towns on the all-defensive team. 
Uh, nobody for us. And on the second offensive team, nobody for us. First rookie team, uh, nobody for us. Second rookie team, Gregor Diener made it. Uh, pretty good season for the rookie. Uh, really happy to see that. AJ Sessions. And then we're back to the beginning. Uh, are we in the playoffs? We did not make it. Well, that is very unfortunate. Uh, we will go ahead and sim through this. All right, let's see who gets through the first round first. Miami, out in the east, Washington, Memphis, Sacramento, Denver, Houston, Charlotte, and Indiana. Indy, Charlotte goes on with Washington and Memphis and Denver. Uh, looks like Washington is going to take that series again, and they're going to take on the Grizz. Ooh, interesting. This is new. A new winner, dun, 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 dun. and the Washington Wizards have won the championship. Trey Young went off, uh, 22 points, 8 assists, one steal, one and a half steals. Actually, you know what, he didn't really go off, he had a decent season. It, what is this trophy? He's a finals MVP. Okay, so that was just in the finals. Okay, okay, that makes sense. I thought it was like, hey, he's the MVP for the pl whole playoffs, not the finals. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. All right. Well, unfortunately, the season ended a lot faster than I had hoped. I thought we kind of built this team a little bit better. Um, I guess we'll just have to continue on. Uh, uh, let's go ahead. And everybody did quite well there. And we load through the summer. Well, August. All right, player retirements. Anybody leaving? Uh, AD is leaving. Tobias Harris, Damian Lillard. 40 years old, Damian. Go relax, man. Julius Randle, TJ Warren, Malcolm Brogdon. Um, sure. Starting to lose in like the some of the names. Uh, Hall of Fame inductees. AD and Damian Lillard, obviously. Uh, great seasons for the both of them. Great careers for the both of them uh, AD with less points more rebounds um, but more games played and Damian Lillard more points per game uh, fairly solid rebounds and assists you know can't be too upset with that kind of career boys uh, Jersey retirements obviously AD really Lillard's not getting his his Jersey retired that's kind of rude that's kind of, I don't know if well maybe maybe if he jumped around the league a lot and didn't play on the same team a lot I'm not sure. I'm not a big, or knowledge at least knowledgeable, uh, in any of that. So uh, maybe that's what it was. Oh, we've got some approvals. Draft lottery tops picks are done through lotto. Remaining picks are determined by team record. This happens this year. The CBA. Interesting. Dun dun dun. And offensive defensive key violations are changed from three to five seconds. Oh no, wait. Sorry. Draft lottery teams with the same record will no longer share the same odds. Of attaining top three pick tiebreakers will be used to seed teams. Oh, sorry. Nope, that's not what I wanted. League realignment. Uh, I honestly don't see any changes there. And we come to the draft lottery. Top six picks are available. And we sit... Um, geez, at number ten. Highly doubt we're going anywhere on this one. Highly, highly doubt it. Raptors are at 15. Hooray. Celtics stay at number 14. Phoenix stays at 13. That's what I love to see. Nobody moving up so far. 19th all-time selection. Draft lottery for the Orlando Magic. Uh, da, 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 Timberwolves. Minnesota stays at 12. We are up now at number 10. Yay! We stay at 10, but we're going to get a slightly better pick, I believe. Uh, we're gonna have to, I think we have to draft better. I haven't been drafting as well as I should. New Orleans stays. 
All right, here we go. Eighth pick goes to the Mavs. Nobody's moving up yet. Come on, Mark Tatum, show me some goodness for somebody else, I guess, because it's not going to be us. All right, draft lottery wraps. Oh, wraps are moving up. Oh, wraps are moving up again. Can they do it a third time? They can. <gasps> they could go all the way. Or maybe they already won it and it's just going through it because that's how it goes. If... Oh, Raptors jump from what? Six to two. And they have two and 15 this year. Oh my goodness. Number of picks stays with the Knicks this year with the best odds. Good for them for holding on. We never got that lucky, uh, but we get a pretty decent spot in the top 10. Um, I don't know if it's like the NB or the, the NHL if you if you actually get solid uh, players or whatever, but we'll figure it out. Right, whatever. And we will go through all of that, see if we did anything. Whatever. What is our team called? The Whales. Nothing. We had everybody was signed on for another season. Uh, so this is going to be a short episode, everybody. Uh, honestly, I, my apologies. I don't want to get into the draft um, for the next one because that's going to add like another forty minutes to the video, and, and all for unfortunately. So uh, we'll end it here today. It'll be a short one. I've got something new coming out tomorrow. Uh, it'll be a big, big surprise for everybody. So I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for checking this one out, and I'll see you soon. Bye.